first try these before you take a look at the answers. Okay, you should have pressed pause. These are the answers now. So, if we've got carbon on its own, oxygen is diatomic, so it's O2. Remember, you worry about the formulas before worrying about the balances. Carbon 4 oxide is carbon with a valency of 4. Oxygen, which has a valency of 2. And we find that it's CO2. So carbon 4 oxide is carbon dioxide. Let's count. One carbon, one carbon, two oxygens, two oxygens, balanced as it stands. Then we're going to go to zinc, Zn, plus hydrochloric acid is on your sheet, HCl, gives you zinc chloride, Zn, um, chloride, oh, we better work it out, Zn, zinc always has a valency of two, because it's on our sheet as such, even though it's a transition metal, it has a constant valency. Chlorine is over here in group seven, so it's eight minus seven, Valency 1, and I get ZnCl2, plus hydrogen when it's on its own is diatomic, H2. One zinc on the left, one zinc on the right. One hydrogen on the left, two hydrogens on the right, so I'm going to put a 2 in front over there. Two hydrogens on the left, two hydrogens on the right, two chlorines on the left, two chlorines on the right. Balanced. Next one, calcium carbonate, Ca. CO3, we better check that it really is CaCO3. Calcium is in group 2, so it has a valency of 2. The carbonate ion, if you look at your sheet, which should be open in front of you, you see that it has two arms, and we hold hands, and it is CaCO3. Plus sulfuric acid, it's on your sheet. Remember that sheet's going to be given to you in the exam, so don't worry about learning those things off by heart. You can always use them. You first need to learn them in grade 11. Then you've got calcium sulfate, so calcium has a valency of 2 as we just discussed. Sulfate, if you look at your sheet, has a valency of 2, so calcium sulfate is CaSO4, plus water, H2O, plus carbon dioxide, CO2. Now let's check if it balances. 1 calcium, 1 calcium, 1 carbon, 1 carbon, 3 oxygens, 7 oxygens, 4, 5, 6, 7 oxygens, Two hydrogens, two hydrogens, one sulfur, one sulfur. It does balance as it stands. Taking a look at potassium oxide. Potassium is in group one, so it has a valency of one. Oxide, oxygen, is in group six. Eight minus six is two. I need another potassium, so it is K2O. Plus nitric acid is on your sheet, so it's HNO3. Gives me potassium nitrate, so we know that potassium has a valency of 1. Nitrate is on my sheet, NO3, with also a valency of 1. Hold hands, KNO3, plus H2O, which is water. Counting. 1 potassium on the left, one potass sorry, 2 potassiums on the left, 1 potassium on the right. I need a 2 there. 2 potassiums on the left, 2 potassiums on the right. 1 oxygen on the left, or a lie, 4 oxygens on the left, 4 oxygens Oh, six oxygens, seven oxygens on the right, so I'm going to need to do something about that. I'm going to try two there and see what happens. I'm going to go two potassiums on the left, one plus six, seven, six plus one, seven oxygens. Two hydrogens, two hydrogens, two nitrogens, two nitrogens. That is now balanced. Sodium is Na, plus copper two nitrate. Copper is a... Um, transition element, so the stock notation tells me that it's Cu with two arms. Nitrate is NO3. I get it from the sheet. Hold hands. NO3. I get it from the sheet. I need another one. So it's Cu bracket NO3, close bracket 2. Gives me copper metal plus sodium nitrate Na. Sodium has a valency of 1. Nitrate NO3 has a valency of 1. So it's NaNO3. Now let's try and balance that. Remember, I must get my formulas first and then worry about balancing. One sodium, one sodium, one copper, one copper, one nitrogen, one nitrogen, six, sorry, I lied, two nitrogens, one nitrogen. So I better put a two in front over here. So two sodiums, two sodiums, one copper, one copper, two nitrogens, two nitrogens, six Oxygens, six oxygens, that is a balanced equation. Taking a look at the last one, we've got lithium, which is in group um, one, so it has a valency of one. 
iodide, iodine is in group 7, so it has a valency of 1, so it's Li, I. Notice the capitals and the lower cases. Plus chlorine is diatomic when it's on its own, gives me lithium, which has a valency of 1. Chlorine, which is in group 7, has a valency of 1, so it's lithium chloride. Plus iodine when it's on its own is I2. Let's balance that. One lithium, one lithium, one iodine, two iodines. I need a two. So let's stuff that up. So let's try again. Two lithiums, two lithiums, two iodines, two iodines, two chlorines, two chlorines. Balanced. Take a look at these equations and see if you can balance them all before going forwards. Press pause and only unpause when you are done. Right, taking a look at the answers. First we have to work out the formulas. So it's magnesium Mg, which is in group 2, so it's got 2 arms oxygen, which is in group 6, so it has got 2 arms. Hold hands, hold hands, and we have got MgO plus water H2O. Gives me magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium has a valency of 2. Hydroxide, if you look at your sheet, has a valency of 1. Hold hands, I need another hydroxide. Hold hands, and I have got Mg, bracket OH, close bracket 2. And let's see what happens. 1 magnesium, 1 magnesium, 2 oxygens, 2 oxygens, 2 hydrogens, 2 hydrogens. It is balanced. Silver nitrate. Silver has a valency of 1 always, because it's on our sheet, and we learn it later on. Nitrate is NO3 on our sheet, Ag, NO3. Ag, NO3, plus calcium bromide. Calcium is in group 2. So it has two arms. Bromine is in group seven. So it has eight minus seven, one arm. Bromide, hold hands, and we have got CaBr2. Notice I'm getting the formulas first. I do not care about balancing. Calcium nitrate. Calcium has two arms because it's in group two. Nitrate has got one arm because it comes from my sheet. I have Ca. Bracket NO3, close bracket 2, plus silver bromide. Silver is in group, well, sorry, has a valency of 1 always. Bromine has a valency of 1 because it's in group 7, so I'm going to get AgBr. Now we need to balance this. So, one silver on the left, one silver on the right, one nitrate on the left, one ni two nitrates on the right, two nitrogens. So I'm going to need a 2 in front over there. Let's try again. And, of course, that will have stuffed this up, so let's put a 2 there straight away. 2 silvers, 2 silvers, 2 nitrogens, 2 nitrogens, 6 oxygens, 6 oxygens, 1 calcium, 1 calcium, 2 bromines, 2 bromines. That is the balanced equation. And on to aluminium hydroxide. So we've got Al, 1, 2, 3, because it's in group 3. Hydroxide, OH, from your sheet. Remember, it's the only I that doesn't come straight off the periodic table. Hold hands. It's a polyatomic OH. It has one arm. And therefore, I land up with AL bracket OH, close bracket. There are three of that group. Then I've got hydrogen chloride, which is really hydrochloric acid. But let's just check ourselves. Hydrogen's in group 1. Chlorine is in group 7. So one arm, one arm, hydrogen chloride. Gives me... Aluminium chloride, ALCL, let's check how it works out. Aluminium has three arms. Chlorine has one arm because it's in group seven. I'm going to need a three there. Plus water, H2O. Let's see how this works out. One aluminium, one aluminium. One, two, three oxygens, one oxygen. That's a problem. I'm going to put a three in front over there. So I have now got... One aluminium, one aluminium, three oxygens, three oxygens, three hydrogens plus one, six hydrogens. I'm going to try to fix that by putting a three there because I know that I've got a three Cl there. Let's see if it fixes my problem. One aluminium, one aluminium, one, two, three oxygens, one, two, three oxygens, three plus three hydrogens, six hydrogens, six hydrogens, three chlorines, three chlorines. Now that is balanced. Looking at the next one, it's water, H2O. I know oxygen is diatomic, O2, and hydrogen peroxide is on my list as H2O2. Balancing that, I need to put a 
two over there and a two over there. Let's see what happens. Two hydrogens on the left, two, sorry, four hydrogens on the left, four hydrogens on the right. Two plus two, four oxygens on the left, four oxygens on the right. Looking at the next one, sodium is Na plus oxygen is O2. It's diatomic when it's on its own. Gives me sodium oxide. I better work out what sodium oxide is. Sodium has a valency of 1. Why? Because it's in group 1. Oxygen oxide is in group 6, so it has a valency of 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. Na, hold hands. So it's Na2O. And let's look. One sodium on the left, two sodiums on the right. We better balance that with a 2 over there. We've now got two oxygens on the left, one oxygen on the right. I need a 2 there, which is going to stuff that up. Put a 4 there. Four sodiums on the left, four sodiums on the right, two oxygens on the left, two oxygens on the right. And last one, we've got phosphorus plus oxygen, which on its own is diatomic, gives me phosphorus 5 oxide. So they've told me the valency of the phosphorus, although they, yeah, they did need to, because otherwise it would have been 3 by default. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oxygen, 2. Hold hands. I need another oxygen. Oh my gosh, I need another oxygen, and that's just stuff things up with the phosphorus. One, two, three, four, five. I need another oxygen. They come with two arms. I need another oxygen. They come with two arms. So it is P2O5. Let's balance that out. Two potassiums, and then my oxygen. Oh dear, I've got this odd even problem, so I'm going to have to look at the lowest common denominator. I'm going to put a 2 there and a 5 there. That stuffed up the phosphorus, so I'll do that. And 4 phosphoruses, 4 phosphoruses, 10 oxygens, 10 oxygens. Yay, that is done.